wanted to show you this. So this is our mono printing, what we're going to do. We have to have a printing plate. The printing plate that we're using, okay, it has a top sheet and a bottom sheet. This can just be taken off, we don't need it. That's just to protect this. This is called a jelly right here. This is, uh, it's a brand and it's like a jelly print pad. So, um, as you guys can see here, this is where you're going to get them. You are going to need a manila paper for a background because this does get a little messy and you're gonna get some possible paint everywhere and it's just easier cleanup, okay? Don't throw these away after every day. We can reuse these. It's okay if there's a little paint on them, but we can reuse them as needed, okay? But let's talk about what we're gonna do. The fun part about mono printing is it's kind of like this idea of this um, kind of free flowing, you don't want it to always be perfect, okay? Um, I have some of these. These like paints were like donated to me. They might be a little rough. I don't know how liquid they are or not. Some of them may or may not be good, but I do have this, which is our um, acrylic paint. This is a really oh. large tub of paint. You're not gonna need that much. And I'm gonna show you guys basically just how much you need. Something that you could do you could take a paper towel or a palette or something and you could even put just a little bit on there for those bigger jugs you don't need to have like um let me get this in here you don't need to have that like this is nice with these smaller ones because you can take them and you can squirt right on here so what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of take a small little bit of paint you're gonna find the colors that you want that was probably a lot on there just a little bit here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and just put a little bit right here okay now this is our roller and I'm just going to oops if I can move this I'm going to roll this paint on here and you're going to see some of that kind of mix in there, but I don't want it to over mix. All right. So then what I'm just going to do is once I have this laid down, I'm just going to go ahead and make my first print. When I print and see, I got some paint on me. It's going to be on the back side. I'm just going to rub down on the paper probably put a little bit too much paint on here all right and then there's my first print okay so I'm gonna let that dry is that kind of fun so that's like an idea of what we're gonna do for our background now I still have a lot of paint on here so I'm gonna just kind of redo this and another idea I could do is I could take something like this a palette knife and I could actually draw into my print and I can scrape away some of the paint I can also play around with different colors that I want to print onto. So I have some like, uh, just some different types of paper over there if you want and just see what it looks like um, and what that will, that will do. And make sure you just kind of rub it in, pick up all of that paint. And there's my next print. Isn't that kind of fun? So you could start having fun with this. Um, something else you could do. So let's say if I, oops, let's get a little bit of some paint on there. Put some more of this yellow on here. Take my roller.
Okay, what I have here is a stencil. This is kind of neat. This stencil, um, I only have one of these, so it is what it is. You can always make a stencil if you want. I don't know if we really have the time to make them. Um, this is kind of neat too when you put the stencil on here and then you go to print. It only prints the areas in between the stencil. That green gets everywhere. So then you have like that stencil kind of look to it. Um, and then what you could do is take this off, the stencil off, and see what else happens. I think I'm going to add any more paint to it. I can probably get a couple prints off of that. Still had all that paint on there. Just kind of rub it out. that cool look so there's all these different types of looks that you can get and different backgrounds so the idea is you're gonna have um, a series I would probably do probably at least five of these just to have an idea of these as you're going to now let's say you wanted all new colors all new everything you wanted to clean this up because um, you, you will need to clean this pad right here okay the you can go to the sink and you clean it in the sink, but you can also just take water. Please make sure you're cleaning the sides because paint does seep over into the sides. And clean off your printing plate. You can do this with water and paper towel. See, again, you can see all that paint that is still sticking on there. Get a little bit of, it's okay to kind of get some of that off. So you can just clean that printing plate. It does stain a little bit, but try to get as much of that paint off as you can. Um, and then you will dry it and then you can start with a whole new set of colors if you want to definitely this needs to be cleaned off in the sink you want to make sure you wash that off completely so that paint doesn't stay on there you want to do this relatively quickly before it dries too fast okay so as soon as you're done make sure that you are rinsing these off I just have a um, water right there so I'm just gonna put it in there because I'm not next to the sink um, but make sure that you guys get this all clean off, including those edges, get all that paint off those edges. I did not remove the backing off the back of this because I didn't really need to. Um, I just kept that on there. And then if I'm going to store this and put this back so the next person can use it, I'm going to go ahead and put my top coat on there. So it keeps it nice when we're storing them and keeps them separated so they don't stick next to each other. Okay. So this is how I would then go and return it. Make sure it's all clean and dried and both pieces back on there. Make sure that I have all my brushes and everything else cleaned up. This, if it gets too ruined or too, this one got really wet, but I can still reuse this for another period. So you could always take this if you need to, if you needed a couple of periods. This would also need to get rinsed off in the um, sink. Don't be afraid to use like a little sponge on it, but just be careful because it is like little plastic edges. You can tear it, okay? So just be careful with that if you use that um, as well. Now, these are prints. They have to dry. My suggestion is, is make sure you have like your initials or name or something on them because some people's might look similar. Over here, I have a drying rack and you guys can place them in the drying rack. You could probably get more than one in one slot, but um, you're just gonna put them in the drying rack and let them dry overnight. Um, you can also put them in your cubby if you want. So we need to let these store. So when, when we come back tomorrow, after these are dry, then we can start thinking about how you're gonna cut them out for your background design. Okay, so that'll be a tomorrow.